When a massive snake relentlessly tried to slither into Matt's home, his first instinct was to block it at all costs. But as it continued its determined efforts, Matt noticed something strange in its behavior. Curiosity overtook his fear, and he watched more closely. What he discovered about the snake's desperate attempts left him conflicted, torn between terror and sympathy. With hesitation, Matt reached for the door handle, knowing that the choice he was about to make could change everything. Matt felt like he was losing it. What could be making that strange noise outside? Every time he checked the window, there was nothing until he took a closer look. Did he really see that? The tip of a tail disappeared into a big bush. It seemed like something was circling his house. Then, out of nowhere, his front door began to shake. Something was trying to get in. Matt was terrified. He suddenly realized what had been banging on his door, and it wasn't just any animal. He was about to call for help when he saw something that made him stop. But what did Matt see? Matt worked as a writer, which gave him the freedom to work anywhere he wanted. He had been traveling the world while working on his next novel when he got a call from his mother. His dad wasn't doing well, and she asked if he could come home. So he traveled home the next day. Matt had always been a kind man. His family and friends meant everything to him, so it was without question that he would do this for his mother. He came home to care for his father, taking time off from work. He occasionally went out with his friends, but he was mostly at home with his dad. Even when his father got better, Matt decided to stay a little longer. He worked from the comfort of his home and hoped to spend more time with his friends. But if there's one thing traveling alone had taught him, it's that you can never plan too far ahead. During his stay at his parents' house, one of Matt's books unexpectedly became a bestseller, so he had to use the time he planned to spend with friends to work on his next book. Suddenly, there was a lot of pressure on him, and he didn't like it. Matt became very lonely. He moved into his own place and started working from home. His friends tried to get him out of the house, but all he could think about was finishing his book. He believed that once it was done, he could travel again. But then one day, he got distracted from work for a very good reason. It was a Monday afternoon, and Matt was in the middle of writing his book. He had been typing for two straight hours when he heard a strange sound. At first, he didn't really notice it, but when it happened again, he stopped typing and listened closely. Where was the sound coming from? It was unlike anything he had heard before, a vague ticking sound combined with something sliding. Matt got up and started to search around the house. He searched everywhere for the source of the mysterious sound, but found nothing. Later, feeling anxious, he decided to order groceries instead of going out due to his writer's block and stress. His plan to stay in was interrupted by a persistent delivery person, making him realize he needed to confront his writer's block differently and take breaks for rest and distraction. What he didn't know was that tomorrow would be a very strange day. The next day arrived, and Matt felt motivated to start writing again. But he had no idea what the day would bring. He worked on his book for an hour before the first strange thing happened. The weird sound came back. Matt tried to ignore it, but he couldn't. Then he swore he saw something by the window, but just like a few days ago, there was nothing there. And just when he thought that was all, things took an even stranger turn. The sound got louder and louder. It almost sounded like something was circling around his house. But every time he looked out the window, there was nothing. Matt felt like he was losing his mind over this strange sound. What could be tormenting him like this? It had been three days now and Matt was getting sick of it. It had to end quickly. He decided there was only one thing left to do. He got a chair and set it up close to the window so he could see outside. He wasn't going to let whatever was out there escape without him seeing it. It seemed like the only way to finally get the truth about what was happening. For the next hour, Matt waited patiently but he started to get frustrated when he didn't see any activity outside. He was afraid to look away for even a moment, so the wait felt long and boring. Just when he was really thinking about giving up, he noticed something moving. Matt sat up as tall as he could to get the best possible look outside. It was time to see what was lurking in the bushes. He was tempted to get closer to the window, but he didn't want to scare off whoever or whatever was out there. 
Matt saw more movement than he expected, and the size of the creature seemed far larger than he had anticipated. It was clearly an animal, but he couldn't quite make out any details. He finally decided it was worth the risk to get closer. He couldn't believe what he saw. Matt was shocked to see a gigantic snake outside his house. He couldn't deny its massive size, and he felt terrified, wondering how to deal with such a threat. Despite his fear, he knew he needed professional help, so he decided to call the police. However, when he described the situation, the officer laughed, making Matt feel even more desperate for assistance. The police promised to send someone to check on his house, but as the hours passed, no one arrived, leaving Matt feeling abandoned and anxious. As help failed to arrive, Matt's mind became consumed with thoughts of the snake, causing him to lose sleep and have nightmares. Worried that the creature might break into his home, Matt resolved to confront it himself. He searched for weapons and donned thick clothing for protection before going outside. He listened for any signs of the snake's presence but heard nothing. Upon further inspection, however, he discovered the motionless snake near the door, hidden by the bushes. Unsure of its state, Matt attempted to provoke a reaction by tapping on the window, but the snake remained still. Just as he considered opening the door, the snake began banging its head against it, startling Matt. He trembled as he listened to the sound. What was it doing? Matt crept closer and used the peephole to observe the snake. And then he figured it out. He felt so foolish as soon as he realized what was happening. He shook his head, unable to believe it had taken him so long to understand. Despite all his planning and thinking about how to deal with the snake, the truth had never even occurred to him until now. With only a bit of hesitation, Matt opened the front door. He could barely breathe, nervous that maybe he'd misread the situation. If his theory was wrong, there would be no way to escape from the snake. He'd never be strong enough to fight it off. This was it. Matt stood tall in the doorway and tried to be brave as he stared into the face of the snake. But as soon as he saw it up close, all his worries washed away. He had truly figured out the right answer. It had taken him longer than it should have, but at least he had an answer. Matt waved to the snake and reached out as if he were going to touch it. Are you all done now? He shouted. As soon as Matt called out, his friends jumped out of the bushes, giggling and laughing. But instead of joining in, Matt was upset. Why would they pull such a prank? His friends explained they were just trying to help him with his novel by giving him a distraction. They didn't want him stuck in the house, stressing over writing all day. Hearing this, Matt accepted their apologies for scaring him and realized they might be right. A break was probably what he needed all along. I hope you liked this video. Please give it a thumbs up and share it with your loved ones. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update from our channel. Thank you.